Hello, back out in the beautiful Lake District on another adventure. Got Kay with me again today and we're tackling five Wainwrights. We were supposed to do a wild camp yesterday on top of Seathwaite Fell, but there was an accident on the motorway and it took us three and a half hours to get here from Manchester. So we didn't get here till nearly eight o'clock last night and it was getting dark. So we just found a random place, picked up the tent, did a wild camp. We've just got light backpacks now. We've taken the tent and things out. And yeah, we're just gonna get on this adventure now. This is a route that you can take if you wanna go up to Great Gable, Green Gable. If you watch my video on my channel, I've done that one before. We're gonna be take, making our way around the side somewhere. Perks of being with a mountain leader. We don't stick to paths. <laughs> we work it out ourselves. Yeah, it's just a shame I couldn't film the wild camp last night. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to come out and get another wild camp for you guys. I brought out my Northern Light 2, again by Terran Over, which handled it perfect. No wind last night. It was really nice. And we actually did a camp last week as well over at Malham Cove, and I didn't film that. I did start to film, and then I just wasn't feeling it, so I just wanted to, us to enjoy it and have our, uh, have our little chill time, which was nice. There was a cloud inversion as well, which, which we were in this morning. So I'm imagining that was, uh, for anyone camping in the lakes last night, that would have been quite good to see. There we go. If you look over there, you see some people in the middle there. They're on the, uh, they're on the tourist route. The tourist path is what we'd like to say. And there's some more people in the distance there. Straightforward path. But as a mountain leader, this is what we like to do. We like to get off the path. There's Kay in the distance and just work our way around. See, as you see this path, it's obviously quite a long, boring path on the other side, but we're going to climb through a little bit and climb up. A little bit scrambly, if I remember rightly, but what we will see is a waterfall. We can't get down to it, but we can see a waterfall from up here, which is lovely. Obviously, there's not a lot of water at the moment, so I don't know how much it's flowing, but all those guys down there, on the uh, tourist route, <laughs> we'll miss that. Climb up this corner of this face and it's in between the gully there. And if you look what we can see now, how nice is that? You can't get to it, it's, there's a barrier, but we'll get a bit closer and have a look. That's what we've got to get around all this. You got the next bit. I'll take, stay to your left and then climb up to your right. It. Straight to the gate. <laughs> you nearly fall then. <laughs> no. There we go. Look at that. It's nice and easy this. Just gotta make sure you put your hands out, get a good grip, three points of contact, and you're all good. There we go, perfect. Yeah, straight up. Okay, we've just come along this, and it was a good test to bring Kay on this today because I do want her to try and do trip on. There's the burps. I do want her to try and do trip on at some stage, but I know she gets a little bit nervous and things with, or, um, head goes a little bit on a drop so we were just talking about it then i thought i'd put it on camera just to try and for you to explain what it's like yeah so i have really bad vertigo and i used to have it when i was little and car sickness so driving here last night i was feeling really sick in the car and then i was fine up to what a couple of meters yeah when you've got the drop here yeah and it's like the whole landscape's just warping around you it's not nice but you just gotta like keep your eyes on the floor keep looking ahead of you and make sure you got somebody like Chris with you to clean up the sick after. 
she's sick, she's cleaned that up herself. <laughs> no love lost there. <laughs> the burps, if you watched our <laughs> Wales co our Wales camper van video, you'll know what that's all about. But yeah, she, she burps when she's feeling sick. I think it's hilarious and I always make her do it. There's no real set path here, I'm just going to wing the way along, stick against the wall and we should join. That was the lower path down there. Well, this path just leads you up nice and boring and we should join on it up here. <laughs> okay, still feeling sick. It's lovely now, the uh, blue sky's coming out, you probably see a little bit of sun coming through. So we're just following the gill, this is the other, other path now that we're joining back onto eventually. We're just going to keep making our way around this side though for now, to the top. But again, coming these routes, I know I said it before, but do you want to come and just walk the straightforward path and just tick them off? We achieve the same thing, but we'll get to see waterfalls, a little bit of scrambling, little streams, places to get in the water if you want. If you want to come on this route one time, let me know. And as we get to the top of here, this is the path from before. So this is where we've just met the motorway with everybody else. So what we're going to do, we're just going to follow this round a little bit and then when we get past Stihead Tarp, we're going to come off the piste and then we're going to come up here to see Wayne Bell. And look at the clag. All the hordes are going up there, but we're going to nip up seat weight fell first. I thought you were going for hordes are going up there. All the hordes. <laughs> That's what we're going for. Woo! Lighters. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can get to Scarfell Pike this way, but it's a bit of a, fair, a bit of a trek from here. And you, but it does take to the corridor route eventually. This wasn't really forecast. So the downside to that is, didn't really dress for this. I haven't brought a waterproof coat today. I've got a very, very thin Rab Vital jacket, which is a bit pertex. It'll keep off light bits of rain, but oh dear. So we've been walking for another 10 minutes. As you can see, we're just about to hit the clag. But hopefully, it's still morning, hopefully it'll clear. But yeah, this definitely wasn't in the forecast. It's supposed to be blue skies and clear today. Keep pushing on. <laughs> You're loving it. Ice cold water all over my head. <laughs> We've come off the pass. Most people go straight on because they head to Scarfell Pike for the corridor route. And where we've just got to now is Sprinkling Tarn. And it is actually beautiful, but <laughs> obviously with all the clag, you can't really see much. I think what we're going to do, we'll cut round this side of it to get up to the top of Seathwaite Fell and we'll probably come round the opposite side. But the sun is trying its best to come through throughout the clag. What do you think? I love it. Just a shame with the weather. On my mountain leaders, this is also where I did uh, my night navigation. You do a wild camp, you get up at midnight and then you're out for about four hours just with head torches, you can't see far. You're not even allowed to have them pointing like directly out in front of you. And you just have to use a map and compass and they give you little points that you've got to navigate to. They give you a little dot on the map and you've got to set yourself a route and say, oh, I'm going to go around this convergence and head for that spur, hug that. Oh, nightmare. Difficult. <laughs> As you can probably see where I'm walking, there's no paths. Just trying to, uh, to wing it, to be honest. Just know we need to get up and up and up. But we do need to try and get a motor on today because this is just our first way, right? It's actually four, four to five we'll be doing today. We'll have to see about the fifth one. I'm not sure whether we'll have the time. My daughter's coming this evening at five o'clock, so we need to get back. But we'll do our best. Have faith. I know where I'm going. <laughs> kind of. If I said I knew exactly where I was going, I'd probably be lying. Do you know what we need to go up? 
So hopefully we'll be able to find it up here somewhere. That's, I think that's it there. I think that's that little cairn there. The thing is up here, Seathwaite fell, almost like a plateau. And there's two cairns up here, so we're only going to the first cairn, because this is the main cairn. I think it's 632 metres, I'll check. I'll put it on the screen. But I think this is the top of Seathwaite fell. So where we are now, 632 metres, and if you look, all this is Seathwaite fell, and there's 601 metres here, there's a cairn there, but this where we are now is the highest point, 632, and now we're going to make our way back down, I think we might come this side here, so we can come back up, I think Kay's just hurt her ankle a little bit, and a little slip, because she hasn't, she's brought running socks rather than walking socks, I have got some spare socks in my bag, so just gonna have a little change over now. How are they? Any better? Loads better. And how's your ankle? Let's have a look. They'd be fine. Oh, I like her little cuts. <laughs> what you don't see is I've tripped so many times today. <laughs> yeah, you have. Keep that off camera though, my bro. <laughs> so basically, after we've just been up to uh, Seathwaite Fell, you drop back down, you come back the same route that you've been up. And we're back once again at Sprinkling Tarn. There will be times when you can't see much, so make sure either you've got a map and you know how to use it with a compass, or you've got some kind of GPS as well, so you can see where you go, and make sure you bring, obviously a variety of things with you like, warm layers, waterproof, food and water, just in case. Because again, if the weather was to turn now, it needs to get raining, you need to, you know, settle in somewhere just to just to get through the weather just make sure you've got everything with you that you need but just because it's clagged in nothing to be scared about it's normal it's the lake district it's always like this <laughs> it's rare that you get the lovely blue sky days so hopefully a little bit later we're hoping the uh, cloud will clear and we'll get some nice views behind us well actually a little bit of sky clearing above for the first time we can actually see this is, uh, I think it's called Ruddy Gill, this or something like that. <laughs> I might be wrong. I might have consulted him all of that, but I think it's Ruddy Gill. The sun's shining, we're smiling, we're having fun. We've just had some Haribos, powered by Haribo me, always. They're the best snack. People love jelly babies. Nah, crap. It's all about the Haribo. It's a little bit blustery here. Just got to the top of that little section where we were walking. You get to this path. You can see it. So we'll be taking, we'll be going left in a minute down this path. But first, we need to take a right, and this is where we make our climb up to Great End. You can see some people at the top there. So we're going to make our way up here, round. It's kind of over the back side of it, and all the way back round again. And that's what we've just come through. Nice, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's nice, isn't it, when the sun pops out? Yeah. Like literally 30 seconds ago, this was all claggy, and now you can see everything. <laughs> right, push on. Ooh, we're gonna get a view. I'll say what while it's just cleared, that uh, there, just in the cloud at the back, not this one. This one here is Scarfell Pike. So this is a route a lot of people say, corridor route around that side. The Scarfell route I did on my um, on my channel, if you check that out, it's on the early videos. In fact, I'll link it above. Watch that one. That's taking it from Wasdale and, oh, you hit about 10 summits that day. I think there's about six Wainwrights in there. It's a really, really good route. And you've got Lord's Rake as well. Well worth checking out. Awesome. Sweating. <laughs> right, come on, let's push on. No time to rest. Look at this. Above all the cloud. Just do a full 360. I think this is where we're heading next. Look at that. Scarfell Pike over there. That's one route up Scarfell Pike. Up to the top in the distance. Look at all the cloud coming in. 
worth it, isn't it? Hey, eh? worth the slog for that. I love being above the clouds. It's amazing. See, look at this. Over there, we're above the clouds. <laughs> but if we turn round, we're going to be in the clouds in a minute. It's brilliant. What a lovely view. And to be honest, the route up here is all right. It's not even too much of a slog. It's a tall peak. It looks worse than what it is, but it's quite gradual. I just don't know the way down. My, my watch is telling us it's like over the edge. So we'll have a look, see if we can find a quicker way back so we don't have to walk back the way we came. Yeah, ready to go? Selfies all the time, which is all she does. <laughs> what? <laughs> right, well, we're at the summit. The height is somewhere on there or it was on your screen. Let's see where we're going next. We've just been walking, we've just come down literally the straight face of that. I didn't film it because it was really, really rocky. It's a bit like Scar Scarfell Pike up there. Um, and next, we're on our way to Allen Crags. So I think it's this path just in the distance here and up to this next summit. Another one we'll be, what we're looking to do today. I don't know if there's one in between it, but we've got Glaramara. And I love the name of that. I've seen that for years and wanted to do it. And once we've done Glaramara, there is one more after that, we'll, what we could potentially do. Or we can get down from there back to um, back to Seathwaite. And because of the time, I think we might skip the last Wainwright and come down. The other one's Ross Waitfelt. But I think time-wise, we'll probably come down when we get to um, Glaramara. 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 Right, we've just made it to the foot of this next little climb. I think it looked worse than it was. It's not too bad. Oh, it's gorgeous now. Look at that behind. Does it get any better than this? And this up here is a summit of Allen Crags at 785 metres. No 360 camera today. Couldn't bother carrying it. <laughs> Would have been great from here. There we go. Look at that view down there. Try and get you a nice 360 view. A couple of other people up here as well. Awesome, look at the cloud coming in here. There you go, a nice 360. Back to Great End. I might be wrong, I think that's Great Gable in the middle. And that could be Windy Gap. I could be talking crap. Probably am. <laughs> right, time. Let's find a little spot to sit just behind this rock or something and let's see if we can get some food. So, first update we've only got one, but we can share it. I brought my 750 titanium pot, just cheap one. You can literally fit everything in here. This hooks together, this just clips together like that, hooks on there. This is your little stove and you get these little adapters in here. And all you do, you just slot on to the side of your pot, like this. And then your pot can sit on top. This is the stove, you just put your fluid in there. Now what I normally take, I've got a little bit of foil that I can fold out and use as a, uh, as a base, but obviously we don't need that today because of that. Got a sponge, lighter, and my fuel. Now I used that last night, so I also bring another one as well, just a little bit of fuel, a little bit of alcohol. Pour that in there. You don't need much, but we'll give it a good whack so we get a nice good flame just for the camera. And then just gotta be careful with alcohol because you can't see it when it's lit half the time. You just have to feel your hand. Now that is lit, even though it doesn't look like it. There you go. If you look in there now, you can see it. We'll get the stove on there. Luckily, we've just got enough water. Just do it all. Yeah, put all that in there. Wipe your lid on. Slide that up. Good to go. Jesus. What are you drinking? Ran out of water. This is what I weed in last night. 
<laughs> gotta be careful and look at the state of that in fact my wee's probably gonna be like that because i've hardly that's all i've drank today but this is um electrolytes <laughs> so again it's great to bring bring on a hike and it just adds a bit of flavor to your water but it replaces any salts and things so always good to have but yeah literally my wee will look like that later because that is all i've drank so i need to drink the full thing <laughs> before we have our food he has had a few funny looks on the way up here with that bottle it's nice though do you remember Bombay mix when you were little? Yeah. That's what it looks like. Oh, it is, yeah. I'm sure it's nice. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try and show you what it's like. It looks like baby food, but they always do. What it looks like. <laughs> it doesn't taste too bad. Does it? It's just a bit mushy. Mm. The road to Glaramara is a bit of a rocky one. It looked like just a bit of a down and up, but yeah, it's just not great underfoot. We'll get there eventually. But we can see the summit. You can see it right up there. Still smiling? Yeah, I can smell my skin burning. <laughs> <laughs> True story. Yeah, it's warm. So much nicer now, though now that all the clag's gone. Didn't really get much view this morning, so I'm really glad it's clear. It just shows how strong the sun is. Because it's obviously burning its way through the through the clouds. Okay, this isn't from today, this is from a previous adventure. This is what we have to deal with. <sighs> Welcome to the story Kay tells me every time how she burnt two years ago, she's still got the marks on her legs. She is! <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I can to show you on the route. Yeah, pass me your poles and you go up. Thank you. Use your hands. For things like this, always put your poles away because if you're sticking them in things and you're getting them stuck in a rock, it's going to be more of a hindrance. Use your hands if you need them then. Big false summit here. Oh, you bastard! <laughs> wow! <laughs> How cheeky. You're just about to catch Kay Moaning then. <laughs> and she heard the camera go on and show up. <laughs> is that right? No. <laughs> it is right. <laughs> Got the last push now. Will you tie your hair in a pony next time? <laughs> Do your nails and everything else. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Come on, princess. <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> it's another false little summit. <laughs> Yeah, a bit further yet. It's birdie. Come on, princess. <laughs> She's not a princess. Look, what, 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 what's, what's, what's all this? <laughs> <laughs> I get it when everyone doing the weighing rights, you, you got all the stand and paths and stuff, but it's good to just, you know, plan your own route and skip across and cut things out. And like today, there's been loads of times where we've jumped on a path with other people. And then I said, well, we'll cut across here. We've just gone off and gone our own way and a bit clambery or boggy at times, but it's a little bit more interesting. I mean, now we're just, there's no real path that we're on now, but we can see in the distance that there is a path here. So that's what we need to get on. Obviously, we've, we've actually just joined a path now. And then I'm guessing it goes up there and I can't see where it goes. It probably winds its way around, but I think I can see some people in the middle. We need to get our ass up here and quick. We're definitely going to be late back for Zara. <laughs> Sorry, Zara. I know, she's going to go mad. It is, what time is it now? It's half past two. Okay. It's about a two hour, 15 drive home. Two and a half hour drive home. So we've got like two hours. Yeah, and I said I'd be back for five, then six, now seven, but we'll have to see. Uh, we better hurry up. Not as bad as I 
that is what it looks like down there, isn't it? Yeah, true. It's boiling though now, so warm. Just think, look, that's where we were before. Wow. Seems to be going on forever, this. <laughs> and we'll get to the top of there and then assess it. I'll try and plan ahead and work out on my map how long it will take us to do the next bit. Oh, she's toasty. Toasty, very warm. <laughs> I know you're probably thinking why she got a jacket on, but it's a really, it's a really thin jacket, lightweight, and it's just keeping the sun off. I'm but, still burnt light. Yeah, you're already burnt. <laughs> We've got no more water. Just drank the rest. I've got my water filter. I know you've probably seen bits of water we've walked past, but you don't really want stagnant water. It needs to be flowing so it's fresher. And then I've got my water filter and we'll top up our bottles. I know Kay's dying for some water, so we need to uh, keep our eyes and ears out. This is the summit up here, maybe a little fall summit, it could be here, <laughs> of Glaramara at 783 metres. You can go to the summit first on this one. What a lovely view as well, look at that. Look at that for a view down there. Touch the, touch the, touch the cairn. behind you. Keep going. But what about that for a view? Worth it? You just don't get this in Bolton. No. This is the way down I think. <laughs> There's only one way down. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm going to put the camera away until we get to the bottom. Or I could film. Yeah, but I need to help you as well. Right. Yeah, passes your poles. Yeah. Crud shot. <laughs> okay, there's a foothold here. Yeah. Put one foot in there. One foot to me over there. Gotta be brave. Yeah. Go, go. <laughs> right, let me put it away while we get down this bottom bit. That's what I just come down. That was nice, wasn't it? A bit of fun. I love that. I feel like I've got rock climbing there. <laughs> I think I'd be good at it. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna remember this little clip here and I'm gonna insert this when one day we're on Trifan. She's terrified. Uh. Water filter, catering B3. When you run out of water, this is the thing to bring. Always go, not in the stagnant water, with all flies and shit. Go for the flowing water. The great thing about that, should have a nice flow rate that. Watch it be blocked now. Just drink straight from that. Oh, I forgot to turn the filter on. No, I'm joking, it's alright. <laughs> Drink it. <laughs> so it gets rid of 99% germs, 99.9 .9 or something. The only thing it doesn't do, it doesn't get rid of disease. So the only thing you've got to be careful of things like that is just check a little bit upstream, make sure that a sheep's not died in the water. Um, other than that, it's alright. The idea is when you stop like this, is take on as much water as you can, just drink a load of water and then top up your bottles. You were dying for this all, weren't you? Oh my God. Look, bright red face. Have you ever been on the edge of like, what's the word, when you start seeing things? A like mirage, is it? Yeah. No, that's just that sheer beauty looking at me. It's real. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's top up some water. And then I'm thinking the idea is to come straight down this gill here over the edge. So when we get over there, we'll have a look at it. But I've checked my map and the contour lines and they're close together, so it's going to be steep. So it's just a straight run down, 
we've left Ross weight fell out it just made sense I think it's just a little bit it's gonna take us another hour to get there and to get round and I just we just haven't got the time today we've been walking for nearly seven hours and we've put, taken our time we've, we've stopped and things but it's about having an adventure in the mountains so does it, does it matter that we've not ticked that last one off not at all we can come back and get it again we've had an explore we've had the same waterfalls we've hit some wayne rides we did a wild camp i know you didn't see it but we did a wild camp last night so it's been great you enjoyed it i've loved it it's been a while chris are you sure you know where you're going <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean look i know the car <laughs> yeah look i know no i know the cars down there and i know i know we're going off the cliff here so <laughs> I always said you'd be the death of me. <laughs> what I'm hoping over here is my map reading skills are all right. I'll sh I, that little map, I got that little map out before and had a look. I could see something which is a bit craggy, which I'm guessing this bit's coming up. It's steep going down, but it looks like you can get down. But the closer we get to this, it's looking like we're going over the end here. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I do know there's a gill to the right of us. I say a gill, it's a little bit further down now. Look, maybe we should have stuck to that when we get over the end here it's uh it's doable to get down <laughs> you got your vertigo yeah k burping in the background look at the drop there <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing if anyone else has got vertigo please comment below how you keep it in check because i really struggle at times but, yeah but look if i get behind you just look just look at the look at the drop there it's all right innit you the mouse. Look. <laughs> look at the state of that. It's some rabbit hole. <laughs> That's <cheering me> up. <laughs> you lost me foot in a rabbit hole. That's <laughs> that's not making the video. Oh, it is. Oh, that's the that's staying in the intro. That is. That's gold. <laughs> right, walk off now. Let's get down to the bottom. <laughs> Hey, have a Harry bow. Oh. <laughs> I'm not just like really windy, it is really bad vertigo. What are you of farts? What? Powered by Harry bow. I can see a gate at the bottom there, so as long as we can get to that gate. It should be all right. This is the way. Yeah, it's marked on my map. <laughs> <laughs> How's it been coming down here? <laughs> <laughs> Grand. Yeah, look. We're making it. It's, just, it's a bit precarious, but we can just get our way down this little bit here. And somehow down there, there's a gate. And when we're at the gate, as far as I'm concerned, we've made it. thing is with Vertigo as well is your eyes go so your eyes go like glary i can't explain it is that why you you're cross-eyed i always thought you were cross-eyed <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> right so we've got back to this gate halfway down that that's a bit grim coming down there it is quite steep and slippy whether this has saved us any time i'm not too sure but i know Kay smashed that i know she found it difficult it is slippy and it's not easy when you've got a vertigo proud of you there well done smashed it and now we've just got to get down this this next little section i know i said i wouldn't film but just got to get down to the bottom there's a bridge at the bottom and then we've made it back and i'll just say as well it's looking okay but we are feeling a few little raindrops and stuff as well so we've timed this quite well we'll have to see about the water what happens when we get down there whether we get to the water or not but at the moment we're just going to get ourselves down before it pisses it down and Kay can have a little sit down in the car and get back to firm <laughs> firm ground i mean Kay won't mind me saying but you know Kay was upset coming down there because she's feeling yeah she's feeling stupid and, it's, and that's stupid in itself because you know everyone has their little quirks and fears sometimes steep drops sometimes you know look, looking over edge sometimes whatever it may be and i just said all we can do is, is manage it be aware of where we're going 
so we don't go to some really extreme places but equally when we do get out finding places where you can practice so you're not stuck if you if you're struggling but we can get to some places where you know you can have a little go at some steep bits and there's some edges and things and just got to kind of don't think you ever get over it but i think you just get used to it eventually or you get more comfortable with it anyway stop waffling we're looking like a little bit of better ground for a bit wiggle our way around to the bottom take us ages and then uh <laughs> let's get back come on we're just getting to the bottom here look at all the sheep they're just letting <laughs> we're gonna get savage by all these sheep now <laughs> look shepherd there with his hook as well look the shepherd hook oh yeah what do you think about that i love it it's so clever just a few whistles and you know what to do yeah it's amazing right let's get back on the track here come on so we can get back and there's more. <laughs> oh my god, if ever I was anxious, it's right now. <laughs> it's awesome though. Look at all these. Got the chunky ones, these aren't they? Look at this one. Yeah, I think I can get the. I think I can get the job. Da da. <laughs> the sheep whisperer. The great news is, we are now back to the car. The bad news is, it's quarter to five. So I don't know if you can see the waterfall up there. I wanted to take Kay up to that waterfall so we can get in the water. But in all honesty we haven't got time um, it's about two hours 20 home and my daughter's coming at seven o'clock so i've got to get home get back but i really really hope you've enjoyed the video today Kay's over there she's probably missed a signing out but the route as always is down below the bottom of the video if you want to follow it it is a bit of a steep killer coming down there but if you're brave and you want to follow the route you're more than welcome to, to download it and if you like the video please do drop a like it really really does help the channel more people see it and you know what i'm going to say if you're not subscribed please do consider it it's free it doesn't cost anything and you'll just get notified if any new videos and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so it's bye from me like and subscribe <laughs> yeah so catch you in the next one peace